How to reduce a luxated elbow will be demonstrated on this feline cadaver. In most elbow luxations, the radius and ulna will move laterally. The elbow medial collateral ligament in this feline cadaver was severed so that we could luxate its elbow, moving the radius and ulna laterally. To reduce the luxation, we're going to start by placing the radius and ulna in a flexed position, I guess the elbow in a flexed position, and now we're going to internally rotate or pronate the antebrachium while pushing on the tip of the ankyneus. Our goal is to anchor the ankyneus behind the lateral humeral epicondyle. Lock the ankyneus into place by slightly extending the elbow. With the ankyneus in position, apply pressure to the lateral aspect of the radial head while putting the joint into flexion. This is what helps to reduce that radius back into place. Let's demonstrate that with bone models. The radius and ulna have luxated laterally, so we're going to flex the elbow and internally rotate or pronate the antebrachium so that the ankyneus becomes hooked onto the lateral condyle of the humerus. When it's in place, we're going to slightly extend just to help lock it into place and then apply pressure on the lateral side of the radial head while flexing the elbow, which is when it tends to pop back into place. Got it? So now turn your brain around because we're going to relaxate this cat's elbow and we are now going to flex the elbow while pushing on the ankyneus and internally rotating. Again, try to push the ankyneus behind the humeral condyle. Slightly extend the elbow to lock it into place and now we're going to put pressure, there it goes, on the radial head and flex at the same time. With the elbow reduced, be sure to check the integrity of the collateral ligaments by placing the elbow and carpus at 90 degree angles. Turn the paw in to check the lateral collateral and rotate it out to check the medial collateral. This is excessive outward rotation, so we have a damaged medial collateral.